at home now a break in and robbery at the Capuchin Soup Kitchen right there on Connor on Detroit's east side. You're looking now at video from the scene earlier today. We know that break ins happen. Uh, unfortunately, that is the reality, but those who have fallen on hard times and depend on this type of place, they're disgusted. Local force Nick Monticelli is joining us now with more on this developing story. I think everyone is wondering if there are at least any suspects in mind, Nick. You know, Everett, good afternoon. Not as of right now, but I think that's going to change, especially because they've got some brand new security cameras here at the soup kitchen that did some great job and got some great surveillance video. This is how it happened. Whoever broke in here broke in a couple of different places. The first through a window, opening this door from the inside and getting in. Another one was this guard shack over there where they just stole a space heater. And the third door was on the other side of the building. That is how they got into a computer lab, stealing three computers from children. For decades, the Capuchin Soup Kitchen in Detroit has been a place for those in need to get what they need. Well, why break in here? That's the thing. Alexis Williams has been coming here almost every day for more than 20 years. And the thought that someone would steal from a place like this disturbs her. It's just petty. It's just wrong. They, whoever did it comes here and eat also. You know what I'm saying? And tomorrow, you're going to be hungry. You're going to be hungry tomorrow, wishing you never did what you did. The break in was sometime overnight. Three computers were stolen, as well as a space heater from the guard shack outside. It is very demoralizing, but uh, we're up and open this morning. Um, we plan to be here. Brother Jerry Smith admits this is not the first break in, but every one hurts. To me, it, it's a reflection on our society and our world that um, people are so desperately poor that they would uh, burglarize a, uh, a place that hopefully is trying to be supportive of the community. What's also frustrating is that the damage to the building, the windows, the door, the security door on the other side of the building, the guard shack window and door, all of that damage will likely cost more than the computers that were stolen. Speaking of those computers, as we said, they came from a children's computer lab. We'll talk more about what the kids do on them and how they're going to have a difficult time ahead because of it. So that's on Local 4 at 5. We're live here in Detroit's east side. Nick Monticelli, Local 4.